high school offensive guards don't get a significant part of the recognition playing the game. They do, however, get a significant part of the burden of making the offense work. The work and success they achieve up front is critical to consistently sustaining meaningful offensive drives and production, which ultimately puts points on the scoreboard. To be effective, the high school football offensive guard should follow these five guidelines. Rule number one is to dominate each offensive play with the defender across from you. Win them all. Win them all in your mindset and you are on your way to success. It is a battle of self-control. Envision yourself winning each battle will be the key to your success against your defender. Rule number two is to know your blocking assignment. Know precisely what is expected by the coaches from you on each play. If one man up front blows his assignment, it jeopardizes the entire play to be messed up. High school football coaches will often score each play and evaluate each lineman's efficiency and issue them a grade for both to get a better understanding of the effectiveness of that player. If an offensive guard's playing time diminishes, then that player can look and see the blocking grades he is receiving from game time to get a better understanding of why he is not playing as much as he would like to. In any case, high school football offensive guards get a significant part of the duty of making the offense work. The work they do in the trenches is vital to the success of the whole offensive unit. Rule number three is to pass block so successfully that the defender across from you won't get one sack during the whole game. There is some agility and footwork and some quick thinking he should make during a game to dominate the defender throughout the game. An effective high school football offensive guard should be able to rapidly change blocking techniques from run blocking to pass blocking without hesitation. Rule number four is to remain with your block the whole play. When you execute a block, remain with it until the referee blows his whistle. The play isn't over up to that point. Numerous touchdowns and big plays have been made in football because the offensive guard has remained on his block as long as possible, opening up big holes for the back to run through. Rule number five is to think carefully. If your opponent is bigger and stronger than you are, then use quick feet and techniques to hold your own and achieve your blocking assignment. If your opponent is quicker than you are, then you must anticipate this and make the needed blocking and adjustments in your techniques. Be sure to always know what the snap count is. It is both devastating to the high school football offense and embarrassing to you as a high school football player to move on the wrong snap count. Keep your mental game sharp and always get the snap count right. You will make your coaches mad and will see the bench soon if you can't get the snap count right on a regular basis. A successful high school offensive guard does not need to be the biggest or the fastest or the strongest. He needs to be intelligent and rely on proper blocking techniques and schemes taught by his coaches to be successful. These are the offensive guards that will get the coveted playing time and recognition by their peers and coaches. Study your playbook and work on your blocking techniques and strategies. When blocking for a running play, fire off the line and stay low and keep driving your legs. It's normally the person who hits hardest and keeps his center of gravity lower than his opponent who will win the fight. We hope you enjoyed this video for the best 5 tips for high school offensive guards. Please be sure to like this video and comment telling us your best tips as an offensive guard. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great football content like this. Thanks for watching.